Welcome back to Drew Pearson Live, and I'm so excited to be sitting with the mayor of our great city of Dallas, Mayor Rollins. And Mayor Rollins, thank you for being with us. Thank you. I know it's, it's an a honor. Thank you. Uh, I know it's a busy time of year for you uh, with all the uh, things going on around City Hall in the city of Dallas, but you preparing also for uh, opportunity to be reelected with the election coming up this May. I am, um, and uh, Dallas is in a good place. Yes. I mean, we are. We're hot, and I don't mean just in August. Mm -hmm. I mean it, it's 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 everything's taking place, and and so I want to kind of keep the pedal to the metal and uh, take this opportunity in our city's life to start to separate us from other places in the nation, and uh, I think we can do it. Yeah, well, there's some issues that were on the table, so to speak, when you took over as mayor. Do you feel like you've uh, made an impact with those issues, like the things that are going on in City Hall and well, I think South so. Dallas? I, I think so. Uh, first of all, uh, how we do business, I wanted to be civil. Mm -hmm. I think uh, everything we do, every word we speak, reflects on our city. And I want that brand regard, if you will, the brand value to go up because of the way we do it. Second is safety. Yes. I mean, we've never been safer Believe it or not, our crime rate is the lowest it's been since 1966. Wow. Um, homicides, you have to go back to 1938 to see our homicide rate that, that mm -hmm. high. So we are uh, very, very safe because of our police, our chief who I think is doing a great job and our focus on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been focused on Southern Dallas. That's our biggest growth opportunity. Yes. And last year, the uh, growth rate, uh, the investment rate grew faster in Southern Dallas than in North Dallas. Wow. So well, there are some, uh, there is some movement. It's a long road uh, ahead to continue to grow Southern Dallas. Uh, and uh, that's really my focus going forward in the next four years. Yeah, and uh, Dallas has been voted one of the fastest growing cities, and, and a lot of that has to do with your leadership there. Well, thank you very much, but I think it's a team effort. You, yeah. you know that, yes. okay? You can catch a Hail mm -hmm. Mary pass, but yeah. I mean, you've got Roger to Roger had to throw it. Somebody uh, had Roger to throw it. Roger did it, and a lot of people had to block for right, you. There you okay? go. <laughs> and that's the way the city is. Yeah. And there's so many great people out there that are lifting up on the, on the education front, on the business front, uh, on, on uh, transportation. I mean, Love Field is mm -hmm. gone. We had yes. the right amendment going away. Finally. And, and traffic is up 50% versus wow. a year ago. There and it's not hurting DFW, no. and so uh, we've got a dart line that goes all the way to DFW. We didn't have yeah. that before. We have Clyde Warren Park that's uh, bridging uptown and downtown. Mm -hmm. That that hundreds and thousands of people come. Uh, we've got an Omni Hotel that is. Uh, uh, we're growing in the convention business like we never thought we would have because of that convention center hotel yes. uh, downtown. So every time I turn around, it's happening, and I just say, as I say, keep the pedal to the metal, and let's uh, let's take the second half and outdistance the other guys. Amen. And a lot of you know, you mentioned teamwork, and a lot of it has to do with teamwork effort. And a lot of that teamwork effort with you in the city is working with the city council. It is. Now you got six new seats because their terms have expired coming up in this next election and you're going to have to readjust to get used to the new city council members to keep this thing going in a positive yeah, direction. Exactly right. I mean, we are a city council form of governor, really. It's uh, 14 council people. Everybody has the same vote. Uh, and so our team has worked pretty good together, but mm -hmm. we had a lot of veterans. We had six veterans that have been there for eight years. Wow. They're going to go away. We've got eight rookies now. I mean, yeah. six rookies now. And so we're going to have to meld and, and do the things in the right way. But I'm, I'm learning about those candidates. It's very important for people mm -hmm. to study the issues. And they go, who cares about a council person? Trust me, it makes a yeah. big, big difference. Amen, amen. And uh, your election, re or hopefully re-election, yeah, is coming yeah. up uh, this May. So uh, what is your platform as you move forward? You know, I'm focused on four things. Okay. Uh, first, uh, ultimately, the um, uh, we've got a big gap between the haves and the have-nots. Mm -hmm. The way we're going to solve that is through education. So yes. I am pushing hard for our public schools to focus on the performance of students, not politics, really focus on students. Second is, is Southern Dallas. I mm -hmm. created a plan called Grow South. Focus on that. Third, 
people don't realize how much of an international city we are, and we need to continue to be that. Right. We've got nonstop uh, flights to Shanghai and Hong Kong and Abu Dhabi and Dubai now wow. and Rio. Wow. Um, we're going to start in Beijing in June. So I'm focused internationally to get that business uh, growing there. And last, uh, to me, it's about arts and, and creativity. I love sports, but ultimately, I want to get these young artists, the, the playwrights, the musicians to come, and we'll get to be a vibrant, mm -hmm. kind of cooler city than an old mayor, you yeah. know, is. And then, you know, get those, uh, those crazies that are creative in there, and, and that's when I think our city will take off. So that's, those are the four things I get up every morning about thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, and quickly, uh, your uh, uh, support of, uh, and speaking out against domestic violence has been, you know, second to none. Well, I'll tell you, it was a heartbreak in realizing yeah. so many, few people uh, uh, realize what's happening. Uh, two years ago, we had 26 homicides of, of men that said they loved mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. and they killed wow. somebody. Wow. 13,000 cases of this. You know, Drew, you and I both played football and been in sports around men, and we mm -hmm. know that, that, you know, kind of joking about how we treat women is yeah. part of the culture. And uh, it's just as bad as racism, you know, right. kind of how we deal with, with women. And I think I've been speaking out. Every time I see a group of young men was with a bunch yesterday afternoon, I sit there and I talk about never, 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 mm -hmm. never hit a woman. Not yeah. your sister, not your cousin. You know, right. not your girlfriend. Let's right. just change the culture because it can be done. Yeah. In the old days, man, uh, uh, being acting like you were drunk and it was kind of funny. Yeah. Okay. Now mm -hmm. it's not so funny anymore. Okay? Yeah, I understand. And, and you can change that. So. Yeah. Well, you're uh, being a leader and speaking out against that Thank certainly you. has made a, a big difference. Thanks. And uh, hopefully this uh, thing continues as far as the growth of Dallas and your leadership continues there as well. Well, I appreciate it and thank you for your leadership. So many people like you have, have made Dallas their, their city and, and they're making it better. So yeah. uh, uh, hats off to you. Well, if you need a Hail Mary, you still got that Starbucks <laughs> I, I call it him. on the I, city council. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Jennifer's great and we work together and uh, um, uh, Roger is proud of that daughter. He's proud of all yeah, those kids, I'm but he's, sure. all, he's very proud of Jennifer. Well, we th uh, thank you for taking the time to be with us, Mayor. Thank you. And good luck in this election. Okay, we'll work hard. All right. When we come back, we're wrapping up the show, so don't go anywhere. Drew Pearson Live will be right back. <laughs> 